Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to start looking at handling exceptions in Java and I'm only going to show you the kind of simplest case here and we're going to look at more complicated stuff in future tutorials. So exceptions are a major part of the Java language and one of the parts that in some ways is least well thought out and unfortunately they can make your code look, look, look a bit ugly sometimes so you have, sort of have to do the best you can with them but what an exception is is it's part of an error handling mechanism and uh, rather than talk let's just get straight into an example so I'm going to show you an example that has to do with file handling and don't worry for the moment about the exact classes that I'm using here because all I really want to do is illustrate handling exceptions and we will get more into handling files in future. Now in Java there's an object called a file, there's a class called file and I'm going to declare a variable of the type file and set it equal to a new file object. And to the constructor of file I can pass the name of a file that I want to deal with and you can imagine that we might be about to read a file or, or write to it or do something else with it. So let's just say here test.txt and I'll add the import for file with control shift O. Now if you want to read the file let's say the next step could be to declare a file reader object. So it's a class called file reader and let's just call this fr and I'll set that equal to a new file reader. So usually it's bad practice to make variables that only have one or two letters in, but in certain circumstances it's, um, it ends up being kind of acceptable and makes your code uh, cleaner. And usually file reader is something that you use as an intermediate step to reading a file. So you don't refer to it much later on in your code. And we won't go into that now but just for the moment I just want you to um, look at how this works in terms of exceptions. So I'm going to set this fr variable equal to a new file reader and I'm going to pass it the file object that I declared here. So I'll pass the file object to the constructor and again I'll add the import with control shift o. And now this is what I wanted to show you because we've still got an error and whenever you see an error like that the important thing is to hover your mouse over the error icon at the left here. And here we see, well, there are two errors here. One is that it says FR is not closed. And I'll leave that for a moment. But the, the top error is it says unhandled exception type file not found exception. And exceptions are actually, they're just ordinary objects. Uh, except that they derive from a class called exception and you use them in a particular way. Now whenever you get an exception, um, an error like that and it, it tells you unhandled exception, there are two ways you can deal with it. And click on the error and you'll see the two ways. So the first way is this add throws declaration and let's just click that and see what happens. So what's happened is it said originally that this um, had an unhandled file not found exception and when I went to add throws um, it's actually added this to the header of my main method it says throws file not found exception and that fixes the problem so if I save this and I run it bearing in mind that we haven't got a test.txt so this file doesn't exist if I run it I get some red text down here and when you see red text like this, this is called a stack trace or um, yeah a stack trace and the important thing to do is scroll right up and look at the top line and read it from the top line down. So here it says exception in thread main and Java IO file not found exception. So this tells us kind of what kind of error we're dealing with and then it's got some more specific information here the system cannot find the file specified and often you will get more specific information and then if we look down a little bit we just go down a bit finally we come to a point where we 
we've got a little um, a reference to some code that we've written ourselves. So I've created app.java myself. It's this file here. And it says app.java colon 13, which means line 13. And I can click on that error and I can see exactly where the problem occurred. So now I know what happened. I know that the problem was test.txt wasn't found and it occurred at this line 13 on, in app.java and um, an exception has been thrown. And what that means is um, that basically we, we've ended up with this kind of red text. And the reason that this has appeared down here is because we think of this method here as it encounters an error and it reacts to that error by throwing an exception. It's as if it's thrown an object straight out of itself. And execution of my program has stopped at that point and the exception has been thrown out of main, out of the main method. And that was possible because it's got this throws file not found exception declaration here. And when an exception is thrown out of the main method, you get a kind of stack trace like this with red text that tells you what the problem is. Let's take a look at another method of handling an exception. And what I'll do is I'll just right click and I'll go to new package and let's call this demo one. And I'll just put this app.java into demo one and I'll create a new main method here. So I'll right click, go to new class. I'll call it app again and I'll put it in a package called demo two. And we'll look at a different way of handling an exception here. So let's copy this stuff and I'll go to my second app and I'll paste this in here. Let's get rid of these comments, which always annoy me. And I'll do Control Shift F to format that. And now let's look at the other alternative. I'll just right click and clear this error. I'll hover over the error here. And again, it says unhandled exception. So I click the error and I go to surround with try catch. And this is called, this whole thing here is called a try catch block. And what this is doing is it's saying, try to do this code and if that code throws an exception then go into the catch block and uh, if this throws an exception we will immediately go into the catch block so if you put other lines down here they wouldn't be executed if that throws an exception but if it doesn't throw an exception of course you will just carry on executing sequentially line by line but as soon as you throw an exception it's, it kind of throws you straight out of what you're currently doing. Now, in this case, we're not throwing the exception out of main. What we're doing is we're catching the exception. So here we're, we can put code, which will be executed if that exception is thrown. And the default here is to say e.print stack trace. Um, and the exception is declared here. It's like a pr It looks like a parameter to a method, but it's not. And this exception can be caught by this catch block of the try catch block and we're saying just print the stat trace for that exception and if I run that it looks much the same as before and again we can click on the line and find out where the exception was thrown. If I were to create that file in here let's just right click and go new file so I've right clicked the project folder which is the, the working directory of the program and I can just create a test.txt and click finish so now we shouldn't throw that error and if I run the program now we don't get an error we don't get the file not found exception being thrown because the file is found now so the exception is only thrown if an error con condition arises I'll just delete that again and you can put whatever code you like in here you don't have to print the stack trace so by default you get this put in and it's very very handy but you could do anything you like. For example, I could put a sys out in here, system.out.println, and I could say, let's say, file not found, and let's do plus, and let's use my file object up here, and I'll just do file.toString, which I think will give us a nice um, representation of the file. And I'll just run that, and it says file not found test.txt, so you can handle an exception um, any way you like. And if I had code in here, 
uh, let's say something like continuing and let's just put a comment here this will not be executed if the file um, if an exception is thrown so if an exception is thrown that line just does not run so it immediately kind of from here if it throws an exception it immediately goes into that catch block but if you've caught an exception then you can continue so I can say here finished and if I run this even though we've got an exception being thrown we're catching it we're handling it and then we're continuing with our code and uh, th this is quite a lot to absorb but as usual um, I would say if you type it out yourself you'll, you'll really quickly see how it works and it's just a matter of getting used to the terminology throwing an exception catching an exception and just typing it and seeing how it works and you don't really need to puzzle over it too much um, because typing is your kind of magic shortcut to actually understanding this stuff I find but I want to throw I want to show you um, just one more thing here uh, so I'm going to create a app 3 let's close this well uh, an app in demo 3 and I'll right click and go to new class let's call this app again and oh I forgot the package let's create a new package I'll right click and go to new package and I'll call this demo 3 and I'll just drag my app.java into this and once again I'll have some code in here that um, tries to open a non-existent file and this time what I want to show you is I'm going to have another method in here and be because I haven't got a instance of my app class I haven't got an app object there's nowhere in here does it say new app if I want to declare a method here and use it at the moment it would have to be static so um, to use a non-static method of a class then you have to do new on that class somewhere and rather than do that I'm just going to say public static void open file so I've got a new method here and I'm going to cut this and put it in this method here and here I'm going to call this method so in main which is the entry point of the program I'm going to call open file like that and now let's well again if I were to click the error and I were to put a try catch block in we could just handle it here and that would be the end of it but if I put throws in so I click and I go to add throws declaration it's going to add the throws declaration to the method that I'm in so now open file throws file not found exception and now I've got an error in main um, because I've got to handle that exception somewhere or I must throw it out of main ultimately so this open file um, is now itself throwing the exception so the, the exception starts in file reader it gets thrown instead of being caught or handled in a try catch block it gets thrown out of open file and now I need to either throw it out of main or catch it here and for example I could just go to add throws and I get a throw I throw it clean out of my program in effect and I run that and it's the same as before or another possibility is I get rid of throws um, declaration on main and I handle it now in main I go to surround with try catch and again I could say something like sys out could not open file although it's always good when you when you have an error to have as specific a message as you can to your user and if the user was intended to see this the user should never see a stack trace like this unless you want to horrify them because all users all kind of non-technical users and even technical ones are um, horrified by stack traces so don't let your application produce a stack trace if you intend it to be distributed and used by other people and here I would make it say couldn't open file such and such and I'd do something like maybe pass the file name into here so I wouldn't let it just say couldn't open file because that's too vague a message let's just put a quick note here um, PS this message is too vague but um, anyway the point is that I can if I throw the exception out of open file 
I can then catch it further up the stack and um, catch it in main. Because we think of the methods, the method calls as being like a stack, where one calls the other, which calls another, which calls another, and it's like there's a stack of methods, um, and you kind of take the methods off the stack and run them one by one, or at least the Java virtual machine does. So it's saying like, okay, um, I'll run this open file, and then I'll carry on with main, and so on. Anyway, uh, that's all for this tutorial, and it's, it is a lot of stuff, but if you play around with it, you'll see it's not that complicated. And um, we're going to move on, probably in the next tutorial, we'll move on to looking at some more exception handling stuff, and probably we'll look at different kinds of exceptions and stuff like that. So that's it for this tutorial, and um, you can find this code on caveofprogramming.com. Um, if you go to the front page, at least at the moment, and uh, look down, you can see links to pages for these tutorials where you can see the source code. And um, I've also got um, courses um, on uh, programming desktop applications and stuff like that, so certainly check those out. Okay, and uh, that's it for today, and until next time, happy coding.